mean, that was close. Get back from the wrong guy! We can laugh about it now. We're all right. <laughs> all right, Kirk here with BMW Motor Rod Club of Northern Illinois. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change out the wheel bearings, the front wheel bearings, on a BMW. It doesn't matter if it's K-Bike. Most of these old bikes have a very similar wheel. Even going back and forward, it, it, it just doesn't matter. So my bike's a 2000. There's a huge, huge year span of wheels that have a similar bearing setup that this wheel does. Now in the video, uh, I did have a little bit of a mishap. So uh, uh, just stay tuned and watch. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, check it out. So the bearings. Bring more wallet better known as BMW they want for the bearings for this wheel they want one hundred dollars for those two bearings I, what is it with BMW seriously this is a little bit of a rant but I I can't even believe how much money they want for simple wear items a hundred dollars for a couple of bearings those pivot bearings those things are like $70 a piece now. It's because what? They're filled with special German magic? Give me a break. They're bearings. The cheaper way to do it is to uh, get them from the internet, get them from your local bearing supplier, anything like that. Uh, I think I paid all of about $15 for two of these bearings, for both of them. This is a 5204 RS. This one here is not able to be read. 6204 2 RS C3. I got this seal from the just the auto parts store 30 by 47 by 7. Okay, some of the tools that you're going to need for this job you're going to need something to pull out that seal right here. You're going to need some blocks of wood so that you're not resting the wheel right on the brake rotors which could potentially damage them you will need some snap ring pliers to get out the snap ring that's behind here and you're definitely going to need a bearing removal tool now motion pro makes this bearing removal tool uh, the size that you need is a 20 millimeter and they come with an accompanying uh, driver end which as of the making of this video didn't come in the mail so anyway what I'm going to use in its stead is a large screwdriver it basically just goes inside this this slot in here and as you drive it in it will spread these jaws open a little bit and tighten up against the inside of that the inner race of the bearing and then you'll be able to drive it out and pop the bearing out of there so let's get started on this. So I got this. I'm going to use a little piece of wood here just to, uh, just so I'm not prying right against my ABS ring. I'm just going to pop that seal out of there. There we go. And here is the snap ring inside of here. So I'm hoping it comes out of there okay. Hopefully I don't have to spray it or anything. It looks a little rusted. I'm a little, uh, a little concerned about that. Alright, let me try to get this thing out of here. Oh yeah. There we go. Came right out of there. Despite the uh, rust on there, my gosh, look at all that rust on there. That's pretty bad. I have to clean that up a little bit before I put it back in. So inside of here, I'm going to want to make sure that it's uh, pretty, pretty free and clear so that you're not uh, driving against rust or anything like that, anything that's going to make it harder to pull this bearing out of here. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit and then pick it up I'm just going to take a little piece of sandpaper 
and just run it in here to make sure there's no burrs or anything that that bearing is going to get hung up on. Now it doesn't really matter which side you take out first. As long as you got that snap ring out of there and you can pull out the other side, it's going to be okay. Uh, so you can remove this side first. You can remove the other side first. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, just for the sake of the video here, I guess I'll start uh, on this side. Might as well. It's right here. So I got to heat this hub up in order to expand this a little bit so it makes this a little bit easier to remove. One of the tools I forgot to mention was a heat gun. You're going to need to heat up the hub area here uh, around where the, the bearing is to kind of expand this just a little bit in order to drive this out a little easier. Um, this needs to be heated up to approximately 140 degrees. I think that's like 60 degrees Celsius or something. It'll definitely take a few minutes. It's, it's a lot of metal here, but just be patient. It'll go. That's good enough. Okay, so you take this part and pop it in there. And then you gotta flip it over to kind of drive it in. So get another piece of wood. I'll set that on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my screwdriver and drop that in there. Of course you'll have a driver tool if you, uh, there we go, it's in there. So you'll, you'll have a driver tool, hopefully, hopefully I'll have a driver tool very soon. Okay, make sure it's stuck in there. Move the block out of the way. And start tapping on this thing. You don't want to go just hog hog wild and just start beating the hell out of this thing. Just tap on it nicely, and it will start coming out. It should. There it goes. Oh, it didn't work. All right, it didn't work the first time. Probably would help to have that tool. Try it again. May have to go with a different screwdriver. Something that's got a little bit more of an angle. Take a little brake cleaner. Clean out the the bearing. I'm gonna erase so that if there's any oil or grease on there. That doesn't aid in slipping out. Okay. Okay, finally started moving. Hopefully it'll move out the rest of the way. Yes. So you got this spacer in there. You have to make sure that that stays with the uh, stays with it well, it's kind of uneven but so be it kind of beat up so I'm gonna clean that up and put it back in there when I'm uh, when I when I get ready to put the new bearings in so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that other side Okay, one more time. I'm going to try it again this way, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to drive it out from the other side because there's more than enough room to do so.
Okay, that worked. I got that out of there. So, just how I did it. Now, I know that this would work better if I had the right tool. If I had the correct wedge tool to go into here and separate this out. But I just turned it over and used, as you saw, just something to drive it against here and drop it out. So, worked the same principle. It was just the same thing. It just wasn't pulling it out. It was pushing it out, right? So, it worked. That's all I care about. Anyways, it's out. And, oh yeah, yeah, that one is the, uh, that's the bad bearing. Yeah, I can feel it. Well, good, at least I know it's not all for naught. This one here was actually pretty good, the old bearing. Feels real good. Nah, of course I'm not going to reuse it, but... Okay, bearings fresh out of the freezer. Hopefully, they will go in without too much difficulty. So you just want to drive that down right until it seats uh, all the way at the bottom. And then reinstall your snap ring. Just putting them in is obviously a lot easier than getting them out. Holy cow, a lot easier. I was kind of miserable getting those out of there. Anyway, all right, that's one side. And then the other one does the same thing. So you got to heat it up and then take your cold bearing, drive it in there. Don't forget to set that thing in there. You need to set that in. Uh, I'm going to lay that right there just so I don't forget. Because that would be something I would do is forget to put that in. All right, little WD on there. said I wasn't gonna I had to oh I hate myself okay I'm gonna set that down in there make sure it's seated against there good and then get the bearing in That's it. Well, put the seal in. So I'm gonna just lube up the uh, the edge of the seal here, just so it goes in a little easier. Just press that in. And you just need to press that in right to where it's flush. And don't forget to put some lube on the inside of this seal lip here too as well. Right. 
last thing to do would be just to check it with the uh, with the axle. Check it, make sure you're okay. Everything feels pretty good. All right, and that's it.